Not everybody comes in with a specific diagnosis of ankle arthritis. You know, sometimes it's very, very broad strokes where they're not entirely sure of what's going on. They'll have vague complaints and then you get some x-rays and you're, that's where you start to get into the meat of the discussion. The things that I do conservatively are things like bracing. Some patients may benefit from using a brace, injection therapy, corticosteroid does extremely well in managing swelling and pain and oftentimes months and months at a time. And then activity modification, you know, as a general rule of thumb, inline motion, gliding, you know, low impact activities are, you're gonna get more mileage out of that ankle and have less pain than things like running and jumping sports. Total ankle replacement in general is really well tolerated pain-wise. I'd have to say that patients have far less pain with their surgery than an ankle fusion or even like an ankle fracture repair. Patients are in a splint for a couple of weeks. They come in and get their stitches out, get an x-ray, and then they go into a cast for about another four weeks. So six weeks total with their non-weight bearing. And then they transition to a walking boot, start some PT, usually in the boot for about another four weeks, and then back to shoe wear. I tell patients that they'll change and improve rapidly, and then it's kind of a slow, steady rise over the course of about eight to 12 months.